the possible downside for to Twitter for a jockey is that all us punters out there who have something <laughs> to moan about will will call you names. How on earth does a jockey switch off from some of the stuff you see on Twitter alleging this, that and the other? Yeah. Message? It was actually McCoy on the train one day. We were coming back. I think we went to London about the whip thing. And he came back and he said, I'll tweet. And I what are you on about? Tweet. I hadn't a clue what he was on about. So he introduced me to Twitter. And um, Doc Owen said, all I'll tell you, he says, don't be tipping horses no, on it. Not, yeah. He said, it's, it's not worth the hassle you get. And I enjoy it. And I meet old friends in that. Mm. You know, from Australia, Rodney Griffiths texts me, well oh. done in your seven winners, haven't seen you in ages. And, but things like that, and you do get abuse now and again, which you have to. Do you read it, or do you just skip through Ah, it? some days I do. When I was in American Sky Lantern, didn't get a run. Lizzie said, don't turn on your <laughs> <laughs> Or you probably will jump off the building. But, um, ah, yeah, you get E just saying you stopped it, and you, you're an arsehole, and things like that. But she gets, you know, people are entitled to their opinion. Yep. Sometimes they reply to wind them up. Do you? And go, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> you know? Or did you stop that? And then you're right back. Of course I did. Just to annoy them. It's just that I was told this morning that the, the AP had blocked some uh, a regular punter on Twitter who had kept saying that, you know, he always lost. AP always lost on odds on shots, so just don't touch him. Now, an AP's blocked this person, and I couldn't believe, you know, obviously I don't know him anything like you know AP. I couldn't believe that a champion jockey could be bothered to block somebody, uh, you know, a punter who's probably talking out of their pockets. Yeah, but he's probably pissing them off, blocking them as well. Yeah, right. You know, so that <laughs> you get that little bit of kick out of it as well. I've had one real nasty tweet. It was really bad now. So I blocked him and report or whatever you have to do. But I can't imagine you, you waste time on it. Or, but uh, are the jockeys in the weigh rooms talking about their tweets and, and the no. abuse they get of people saying oh look at this no it's great when you're taking the mickey out of each other and you put something up on it that's right. great fun and it's great when you're in the car going home yeah and you're bored and you're sitting there and you just go through tweeting that's basically what i use it for when i'm bored i think you talk about the exhilaration of there's nothing better than riding a yeah. fast moving horse it infuriates people when i drop a horse out um the main reason I dropped them is because they're going too fast. Nine, nine out of ten handicaps over seven furlongs, they will be going too. They'll be going six furlong pace. And the reason I ended up sitting last was why does he have to sit last? The reason being, if you're two lengths near, you're in the bunch. And you have four horses in front of you and four either side of you. And maybe one or two behind you. So if the two horses in front of you stop, you have nowhere to go, only backwards. But if you're out, out the back on your own and you're two lengths off the group, you can go exactly where you want to go. And you can pick them from halfway who's stopping and who's going well. And you, you've done your homework before you go, so you know your dangers. And if your danger on the right is gone, then you start looking, well, wh where else can I look? Oh, there's Spencer on the left. And you try and get in his slipstream. And then they open the gaps for you, you know. So there's a reason you sit last. And Jamie does it as well. But the reason being is that you have much more options at a vital stage of the race. And you see a gap, and how many seconds do you have to go for that gap? Well, you don't think about it. It's no. a reaction. At what speed? Well, they going? open and they close, you know. So. And you're going at what speed? I suppose 35 miles an hour. Right. Yeah. But it's, it's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing better when you're going well and there's guys beside you dropping back. And you know you're going to win and you're 10 lengths off the leader. And you know. Oh, you know, because you don't even have to quicken, you just have to wait till they stop. But um, I enjoy that.